Hello there. Hello. Welcome back to Scottish Couple in Spain. As promised. As promised. Bye bye. Quite all defensive. <laughs> talking about our personal life. We don't like talking about our personal life on this channel, but... It's not personal, it's just a little update. Part of the journey. Yes, a part recap, of the journey. If you will. And how, how moving to Spain almost went drastically wrong for us. And it's been three years. And it's been three years and we almost never made it. And a lot of people a lot of people don't understand how difficult it was. Yeah, I know. And how we went through plan A, plan B, plan C. Plan C. And plan <laughs> we're just now on plan fly by the seat of your pants, yes. aren't we? <laughs> and how it went completely wrong. Well let's go back to the beginning. Let's yeah, go back to twenty twenty. Twenty twenty where it all started. And all you lovely people that have watched our videos and continue to watch them from way back then, thank you. <laughs> and, the, and the thing is, <laughs> is I want to give a special shout out to the likes of Sean, yeah. ex-Park Mazaron. And this amount of help and inspiration to us. Because we sat and watched his videos. Back in Scotland. When we were in Scotland. Yeah, before we decided to, before yes. we even thought about moving to Spain. Yep. And um, then... We did watch a lot of other YouTubers yeah. that were in Spain at the time. Yeah, because June 2020, you remember March 2020 yes. when the UK came to a complete halt and everybody was at home. Around um, Britain, keeping people at arm's length is the new normal. Exercise once a day is allowed. And in this um, that's what we did. Yes. We, well, we, we worked from home. I was sent to work from home, but we watched a lot of A Place in the Sun. Yep. We watched... You got me into watching these people on YouTube. Yes. Saying, look at this, look at oh. <laughs> You had been to Alicante City for a city break in the December in before. In the December before, 2019. Yeah, the year before. So you were familiar with the area and, yeah, yeah that's how we ended up watching videos from here. Yes, it is. So, yeah, thanks to all those YouTubers, Lucy, Ben Adorm Enthusiast, yep. Sean, Expat and Mazaron. You're the reason why we're here. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. But and a place in the sun. It wasn't the first foray into no. staying abroad. No, we both us. did it when we were yeah. younger. We both travelled. We both knew, ultimately, we are going to live in Spain. Um, yeah. For me, initially, it was retirement, and I always said I would retire to Spain. You know, but the dreaded B word, can I say it? Brexit was looming. Yes. So pl that's changed quite a lot. Um, that kind it of... It speeded things it up. It speeded on things our... up. Because sitting at home... Worrying about what's going on in the world, you've got a lot of time to think about things, a lot of time to go, oh, wait a minute, maybe that retirement plan isn't quite feasible Yeah. after 2021. Yes. Three years. Three years. <laughs> flown in. Of moving to Spain, yes. living in Spain, and... Happy Spain anniversary. Is that even a word? It's anniversary. Spain anniversary. It is now. It is official. First six months of moving to Spain was always to be about exploring. Exploring, mm -hmm. and if you look back at our channel, yeah, we kind of tried to do we it. We tried to do it as much as we could. Yeah. We did. Yes, we, we decided to, to move in the middle yes. of a pandemic. Yes. We decided to take the plunge. We decided we saw a window of the opportunity, and we did it. We took it, and thankfully it's worked out well. But it did face its challenges. Yes. So we spent the first month. In Torrevieja, which we were familiar with, we'd come here on holiday. Um, yep. We were lucky enough to get a friend of ours. The, his aunt had an empty house at the time, and we were able to rent that for a, up to sort of two or three months. Yep. We ultimately stayed there a month. We stayed there a month. It took us a month to find a property to rent, and that is how we ended up in Playa Flamenca. Why did we choose Playa Flamenca, or did Playa <laughs> Flamenca choose us? Playa Flamenca kind of chose, chose us. us. The circumstances. The circumstances, right? yeah. Um, at the time, I, I used to go back home. I would go to the football week in, week out. Yes. Um, if there was a midweek game, you would go to the midweek game, home, away, everything I would go. And I kind of missed that. You loved the football. Yeah. Yeah. So a little bit of research, a little bit of Googling, a little bit of Facebook searches, and I found this really nice pub that shows all the football matches. Yes. So I thought, if we can get a house that's near there, that yeah. would be ideal. We could walk up and down to the pub. Yeah. And we wanted somewhere that was big enough for us but big enough for family to come and visit yeah wanted a swimming pool so we ended up on an urbanization a quad house and it was lovely yeah and uh, really liked it but it was a short-term rental this wasn't a long-term yeah, rent it was a, because of the restrictions yeah the, 
That was the start. That was the start. When the travel restrictions lifted and people started to come back out, yep. things were picking up and it was yep. it was getting busier. For us at that point, because we'd gone 10 months, now we gave ourselves a year. Yeah, give we ourselves a year. We can't make this work in a year, we're going back to Scotland. Yep. 10 months in and finally we had the opportunity to try and make it work. I had a floor business back home mm -hmm. and I was quite good, well I still am, um, yeah. at grinding marble. Yes. And I've got 20 years experience working in the floor in the flooring industry mm -hmm. on the restoration side of, of old floors. Having stayed and worked in Edinburgh, well, having worked in Edinburgh for the last 20 years before, I knew a thing or two about old properties and yeah. old floors. So we've seen that this is a, an opportunity to try and bring that business over here and grow that business here. But it was the ideal type of business to transfer from one country to the other. And the fact that the, the, the expat population was significant enough to make the transition yes. easier for us as yeah. well. And the fact that there's absolutely millions of square metres of marble around about here yeah. that need looked after. But it didn't work out as no, well as what we thought. And my little dream, my... Yes, and you had a dream of... KJ's Cafe. Yes, a keto cafe. Yes. Yes. So we had all these plans, and that was plan A. And due to the fact that it was holiday homes, and it's an area that is all holiday homes, and the lack of people being here... And we... The flooring business took... aware of that. Yeah, it took a yeah. while for us to adjust to that. It was about a year before the floor business really got started yeah. up, because there was nobody here. Yeah. Um, at that point, my plans just, they were out the window. It yeah. wasn't even on hold anymore. You've got to remember just, that. That's it. I need to look at plan B. I need to think of something else. I, I started looking for work because my plans were, to, as I say, that yeah. was gone. That, that, was that gone. wasn't happening. It's not happening. But it's, anyway, you I haven't, you have a lucky plan enough to get a job. Um, when you went, there was one thing that I did say when we were back in the UK, back in Scotland, um, before we moved, and I said, don't be too surprised if we're doing if something, we're doing something completely, different. completely different in a year's time. Because I knew we had to have a plan A and a plan B and a plan C mm -hmm. to make this work. Because it, ultimately it was our dream. Yeah. So yeah, Player Flamenca was too quiet, too ultimately, quiet. at the time. Even when people started to come out, that's when we realised that, you know what, holiday homes coming and going. By yeah. that time I had started working remotely for a company, so I was working in the house. You were working um, yeah. the holiday lifestyle that we'd enjoyed. Yeah. It wasn't fitting in with full-time work. We just yeah. thought, this isn't for us, we can't do it. Yeah. it I'd spent 14 years in Tenerife, so I, I knew that the type of lifestyle that, that people could fall into, the trap that they could fall into, the sitting in the pub mm -hmm. every night, you know, yeah. the whole expat lifestyle. And that's something that I was well aware that I didn't want to fall into when we moved here. I think if you're working in the hospitality industry, yes, it's, it's great easy. fun. Yeah, it's great I fun. did that when I was younger. I yeah. spent about 10 years working in bars and restaurants and clubs. Yeah. Um, and it's a great lifestyle. It yeah. is. But it's not what we wanted. No, it's not, it's not, not the Spain really. that we wanted to move to. Yeah. So the decision was made. Yes. Let's move back to Torre Vieja. We wanted to move back to Torre Vieja. We found an apartment in the city centre. And it was beautiful. It was perfect. Yep, yep. It had enough room for an office to work at home from, spare room for visitors. We had restaurants and bars on our doorstep. We had beautiful views of the Mediterranean and the marina. And it was just perfect, wasn't it? But yeah. it was a short-term gap, which yes. ended up two Being years. Two years. We went there for, it, yes. we reckoned, six months, a year at the most. Yes. And we're going to move on. And we were there for two years. We were there for two years because we loved Torrebecca that much, let's be honest. Yeah, it was, it is it, great fun. It felt like home. Yeah, it's a great it's, city. It's yeah. got a lot to offer, you know, for holidaymakers and for living there yes. as well all year round. But we have left Torrebecca. We have left. We we'll have. get to that. So. We felt like after the first year in Torrebecca, we thought, right, we've made it, we've done it, we've got through yeah. all that, we're going to survive this, we're building a life in Spain, yep. we're going to be able to do this. Brilliant. And then we started to think, where do we really, really, really want to live? Anyway, Torreveca was a blast and it lasted two years. Loads of videos about Torreveca and our experiences. The channel there. was never meant to be a, an information channel about Torreveca. The channel was meant to be a, about our experiences. Yeah. We've missed so, a bit out, actually. We've missed we've Plan missed B. Plan B was... Plan B. 
do we go back to the UK? We were three months away from, from returning. From saying that set, we need, we're going back to Scotland. We're going back. Yeah. And you've got to remember, at that time, there was lots of people that, that jumped ship back in 2020 and came to Spain. Yeah. And there was a lot of people. We saw a lot of people arrive at never the same make, time as us. Never made it. Yeah. Never made it past two or three months. We have to sort of that congratulate was, yeah. congratulate ourselves on the fact yep. that we stuck it out. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of people, you know, they, they came over to try and make the dream work. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the hardest things yeah. to do, is to rock up in, it's a, in another country. It's hard enough to do it during normal circumstances, yeah. never mind in the middle of a pandemic, where you have these restrictions and you couldn't do what you wanted to do. It yeah. was just, but we kept the faith, I suppose, and we yeah. pushed ourselves... This will end at some point. This yeah. will end. <laughs> we said, right, three months, and that's it. And then I, I landed that job yep. that I'm doing now. YouTube started kicking in. YouTube started Th taking off. jobs off. came Floor in. jobs started to come in. And it was sit back and watch the money roll in. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, unfortunately. It, it was go out and eat tapas and put on a stone. Yeah. <laughs> Plan C was, everything's working out, we're moving to Torre Vieja. Yes. So two years in the city centre. Two years in the city centre. And we decided we've had enough of this. Yeah. We used to visit Katie and Andy from Mountain View Farm. Yeah. And every time we left their house, we would look at each other. No, and, you would. Well, I would. I'd it, go, this is, oh, it was it, so nice out here. It's so peaceful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, Imagine I used if to call we it, had a garden and we could grow our own vegetables and be semi-self-sufficient and... And my response was, I'm not ready for pipe and slippers just yet. It's not pipe and slippers. It is pipe and slippers. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, it's all about lifestyle. Yeah, and about a year of yeah. chip, chip, chipping away at them. Yeah. Something clicked, didn't it? Yes. One day with Something. you. Something. And you decided, right, the time is it. right. Yeah. The time is right to leave Torre Vieca and try something different. And when I make up my mind. Oh. Everything that's happens it. quite quick. Yeah, that's it. It happens it's, very quickly. Yes, it does happen very quickly. Luckily, we and, um, were very, very lucky to find our kind of ideal house, which is, I call it semi-campo. Yeah. We're not in the campo as in isolated, not like, you know, other people that we know that live in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. We are in a little area. We have neighbours. There are streets. There are houses everywhere. It's just on the very outskirts of a village. Um, we're still in the same region, so if you think coming inland from Torre Vieja, you have places, you've got Almoradi, um, Dolores, Cachao, yep. Cayosa de Segura, um, San Redivan. Isidro, Redivan, yep. you know, all these little towns and villages, That that's where we're at. Um, so we've been exploring them all. Although... But it's still not our ideal Spain. It's still not the ideal no, it's whitewashed quite, village. Yeah. But that's a plan. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why we haven't bought just now. Because people have been asking, why, why, haven't, we bought, why, why haven't we bought? Yeah. Because, uh, let's face it, we, we're not sure where we want to stay. Yeah. And we, we have a dream. We have a dream. And it's now about putting things in place where we can manifest that dream to come true. Yeah. And we're getting there. We are getting there. And it's all about... Ideas change and, and the way that ultimately that... You're away off on another tangent yeah. now. Right, we're... Small towns, small villages. Cheaper cost of living. The cheaper cost of living. We used to eat out a lot in Torre <laughs> <laughs> We look. did. And we like, you know, we like food. This is yes. what we like to do. Some people have hobbies doing this, that or the next yeah. thing. Ours is going out to restaurants. So... Yeah. We ate out a lot and we have eaten out in a few different restaurants in a couple of the towns that are near us. I have had very similar dishes. Um, the standard of food, the quality of food that we've found so yes. far has just been exceptional. There is no, you know, it's not like a lower qu quality or anything no, no, like amazing. that. There's some fantastic restaurants we've found with good food. Um, at a fraction of the price of what you pay in Torre Vieca, like at the seafront around the marina and the city centre, because that is your touristy it's prices, tourist it's price, tourist yeah. driven. Although it's cheap compared to the UK. Of course it's cheap. Of course it's yeah. cheap. Um, but, but it's not as cheap it's as what as it can be. cheap. If you come a little bit inland, yeah. the prices in restaurants drop as well. Menu do dia, 
similar price. Although... Eight, nine, ten, twelve euros, depending on Yeah, but look at the go. amount of food that you get. But the main menus and things... I mean, the menu yeah. down here, I mean, you... you they give you the salad. Oh, I know, it's huge. The menu to do here's on another level. Yeah. You get basically, you get a salad to share. You get your first course, your second course, your postry, your or coffee. Coffee. You get and a drink. drink. And it's, it's, an, it's a lot of food. We went for one one day, the first one we the had. The first one, yeah. And it was, where were we? we we'd gone to Cachal that yes. day. Los Candiles. Yes. Is that how you say it? Yeah. The restaurant. And... We, she forgot the salad. She forgot the salad. So and she came, came out in the end. Office, she went, oh! I, you know, and we looked and I was like, I cannot eat another bite. No, we could she, not eat. She it. forgot the salad so and she brought food. the salad out at the end. Crazy. And she says, Oh, I'm really sorry, really sorry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I forgot your salad. Do you want it? And we're like, You have not. Have another not. example, just very quickly. Yeah. Um, my favourite thing to eat when we go out is either steak or salmon. I love salmon. Salmon. Um, salmon. Salmon in Torrevieja. Yes. There's two restaurants that I liked and I used to get the salmon each time. One was 18 euros and the other restaurant was 19 euros. Same dish. Bit yeah. of salmon, grilled vegetables, doo -doo -doo, plain and simple, love it. I got it here in a really nice Spanish restaurant and it cost 8 euros. 8 For euros. the same dish, for a beautiful piece of salmon, really nice so fresh vegetables. You have to tell the real story. So whilst we're sitting waiting on the food coming out. We were thinking... <coughs> have we ordered tapas? Did we just order tapas? <laughs> that or can't a be ration. main course you either get a tapa or... A, or yeah, a, ration a ration to share yeah. or something. We and thought, we thought we'd order that. It can't be main courses. Can't, it can't be main courses. can't be a main course. It, and it was. And it was. It was. And it was huge. It was flabbergasted. Yeah, the bit of salmon was twice the size of what you get down the road. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, the actual cost of eating out, I would say, much, much cheaper. One restaurant we've been to is probably on par, similar prices, a really nice seafood restaurant. But, you know, we will probably start to do a bit more food videos again now that we're definitely. into things. I think going Tapas, forward for the channel, yeah. there's going to be... If you remember back right at the beginning, if you had subscribed to the channel right at the start and you're watching our journey, we were going to do a thing called Tapas Tuesday. But Tapas Tuesday kind of went into just every kind of video we're yeah. reviewing food back in we 2020 just, and 2021 to do, yeah i know literally nothing else and to the, do. the way that we the way that we've seen it at the time was we were helping at these restaurants to let everybody know that they were still open mm -hmm. and we felt that we were doing a, something good we were yeah. giving something to the community yeah. the local community we didn't even realize it was happening at first yeah until somebody said yeah. oh, i had a customer come in because yeah. they saw on youtube, on YouTube thank you and we went whoa yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. It was all about just it was all about helping the restaurants yeah. out at the time because we knew how, how hard those type of businesses yeah. were were struggling due to the lack of people. Some people assumed that places were closed and yeah. they weren't there was there was a handful that struggled on and yeah. managed to make it through, didn't they? Yeah. So going forward with the channel, Tapas Tuesday will re emerge. We hope. It no, will. it will. It it's will. Gonna, it will. It will. It's, it will re-emerge, and it will be us going to different tapas bars, mm -hmm. in different towns, and different locations, and experiencing the real Spain yeah. about a living a in Spain, more. and you know, not going for fish and chips on a Friday, not going for an English breakfast, experiencing the type of Spain that a Scottish breakfast. That <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> that was amazing. They had steak, square sausage, oh, oh, and black pudding mm -hmm. from. So quotes. Anyway, move on from anyway. that. Those videos yeah. will, will continue. Yeah. Tori Baker videos will continue because we're just 20 minutes up the road, really. Yeah. Um, those videos continue. I know. We will be popping back to Tori. We've been back. Yeah. We've done a couple of videos. But yeah, we'll be back and forth. But maybe, you know, a, a little bit more of the life in the villages and the food in the restaurants. And Let more of Spain. In 2024, we'll definitely be doing more videos mm -hmm. around a wider area of Spain. Yes. Because let's face it, the, the Spain is a wonderful country. And, and it's huge. It is massive. We're on the Costa Blanca. And if you haven't watched our Thank first, one of the first videos that we did, where we, we drove from Scotland all the way, all to, the Spain way to Spain during lockdown. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because if I was to do that video again, mm -hmm. I would actually do it quite similar but there would be a lot more it would probably be a longer video and a lot more of the actual experiences talking about our experiences mm -hmm. we were very naive at that point yeah. and it was just well, we had no idea 
what this channel was going to do. Yeah, we and were it was doing just it about for memories. our own memories yeah. and an easy way to share it with our family back in Scotland. So. And that drive, when there was no one else on the road, driving for over two and a half hours, three never, hours, never and it. never seen another car on the road, was it just was like something out of an apocalypse movie. But life now. We can get up in the morning, we could pick oranges off the tree. Off the trees. We can then go and squeeze those oranges and get the freshest orange juice know, ever. That's wonderful. Can't We've spend... traded the the Mediterranean Sea and the marina for mountains and yes. countryside, which yes. is nice. It is nice, but I do yeah. like, miss the sea. I miss the sea, I do miss the sea, I will admit yeah. I miss it. Yeah. But it's just down the road. And you can pick lemons for your gin and tonic at I night. I can, if I... I don't need to buy lemons at the no. moment because I've got a tree full of them. Which is one of the reasons that I really wanted to come and live in a place yeah. like this. Is to try it. Is to experience try the before difference. before you buy. Yes. And see if our forever home might be something, something similar. similar or somewhere in between. We shall see. Here. Thank you to everybody that's subscribed to the channel. Wow. The whole 8,000 and odd, which is completely bizarre. <laughs> the next big target is... 10,000 subscribers. Oh no. The next one is 10,000 <laughs> subscribers because, yes. Yes, Al Alaria. And Alaria. And um, Stefano, Alaria is throwing us a party. They are, we are going to have a 10,000 subscriber party and everyone's invited. It will invited. be in Torre Vieja. <laughs> it will be in Torre Vieja. Yeah, that's madness. Um, just madness. because there's a big square there and there's a lot of bars, so yeah. if there is a lot of people turn up, yeah. um, it'll be good. And if you do see us, say hello, because sometimes people come up and they'll say hello and it's lovely and it's great and we yeah. do enjoy it and we really appreciate it as well. It's, I love it. And I always forget but, our um, names. Sometimes people will send a message saying, I saw you in it, but I didn't want to say hello. Just yeah. say hello. Just say hello. Just say hello. Yeah. So on that note, we hope you've enjoyed this video about our first... Our little backstory. Three years yeah. in Spain, going into our fourth. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? All those people that said that we'd be back home in six months... All these people that said, don't do it, mm. don't do it, you'll Crazy. lose everything. I know. We're still here. We're still here. Living the dream. Yep. Is it still the dream? Of course yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm doing this, this chapter, I'm really enjoying. So yes, I know you are. I and love it. The good thing is, as well, you might have just seen the video that we put out of Ginny mm. and the fact yeah. that she got cancer when we first got here. If you haven't watched that video, watch that video now. It'll be just up. Here or here, yeah. here. And on that or note... visit to the vet. Ginny loves the garden. Oh, yeah. yeah. She loves the garden. Absolutely loves it. Loves Apartment it. life with a dog is difficult because you're yeah. out the door, in the lift, down the stairs, do 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 round the restaurant, and then, you know, she can do what she needs to do. Just opening the door and having the dog run out into the garden is really, really nice. So like would... It. A question that people will ask is, if you had your time all over again, oh. would you still do it? Would we move to would Spain? Would you move to Spain? Yes, 100% yes. Yes. Definitely. I am 100% glad that we beat yep. that Brexit deadline because I see how difficult it is for people and what they're having to do and, and the cost. <laughs> and if, if you are still thinking about moving to Spain and retiring in Spain, don't be put off by, by anything that was said and don't be put off oh, by... Take it with a pinch of salt, yes. especially when he says something. Take it with a pinch of salt. It's just our opinions and sometimes yeah. it's just, you know, it's it's what we see. And yeah. But yeah, you know, make your own mind up. No matter what country you're from, if you want to move to Spain, do it. It's a fabulous country. It's we great. love it. We it's a bit cold in the winter for me. I understand well, why um, my dad stayed in Tenerife for so long because... <laughs> I know, it does it's, get cold in the yeah. winter, especially when you've been here for a few years and you're a bit acclimatised to the warmer yeah. weather, but the winter's short, you know, it it's that. worth it. It is that. Yeah. It isn't that bad at all. Love it. Absolutely. So if you've got any questions, put them in the comment section of this video and we'll we will try our best to answer them. Try to answer them. If we don't answer them, we might answer them in a video format. That might be a little bit easier. Okay. Even if it's just in a YouTube shot, yeah. we'll do a video and then we'll tag you on it. Q&A. Yeah, which might be a little bit easier and a little bit more enjoyable for you and give you a little bit more content to watch. Of us, I don't know why oh, people want to watch us. I, don't, I still don't. Know. I don't know either. Anyway, I still find it very, very strange. Yes, from the woman that hated getting a picture taken. I know I wouldn't even get my photo taken, would I? No. And now you can't shut me up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, hasta luego. Hasta luego.